Non-alcohol fatty liver is reversible in its early stages, but if you need more of a plan than told to lose weight, Try these superfoods and supplements that promote the loss of liver fat, and they will also help with cirrhosis of the liver. Now, the number one cause of fatty liver is not alcohol, and it's not dietary fat. It is those refined carbohydrates and especially sugary drinks, which leads to these other causes, obesity, excess belly fat, insulin resistance, and impaired gut health. Now, if you've already been diagnosed with fatty liver or even cirrhosis of the liver, you already know this. But now you need a plant other than just being told to lose weight. Thank you for joining me today at Family Guide to Herbs Online School. I'm Carolyn Gibson, family herbalist, organic farmer, massage therapist, and I will be your instructor and guide today. How about focusing on foods and supplements that promote loss of liver fat? Instead of focusing on what you need to give up, focus on these supplements and fill up on these superfoods, which may help you with your weight loss goals. Now, diet is the most important part of your plan, but supplements can double the effects of your diet. Mick thistle is the most well-known herb for the liver. Now, you may have seen this growing in the bar ditches in the early spring. Research has shown that taking milk thistle with vitamin E can double the effects of a low-calorie diet in reducing the size of liver, but dosage is important for it to be effective. As a protection against liver disease, 175 mgs a day of a seed extract standardized of 80% Sumerian. Now, therapeutic dosages need to be high enough to be restorative. You need to take up to 600 grams a day of a seed extract standardized to 80%. Caution. Now, if you're on a diabetes medication, this can lower your blood sugar, so you need to really keep your blood sugar monitored. Now, if you're allergic to plants in the aster family, you could also be allergic to this. So start with the lowest dosage first to make sure you're not allergic. Taking omega-3 fatty acids along with dietary changes can reduce your fatty liver by up to 50% or even completely resolve it. That's 500 to 1,000 mgs per day for children, 2 to 4 grams a day for adults. Or invite a fish for dinner tonight, salmon, sardines, herring, or mackerel at least three times a week. But the real hero of your plan is soluble fiber. 10 to 14 grams a day helps to reduce liver fat, enzyme levels, insulin sensitivity. Oh, and once more, it helps you feel full. Fiber is that part of the plant that our bodies cannot digest, which does not mean it is not important. It is critical to our digestion. And it also helps us feel full which is really important for losing weight. There are two types of fiber, water-soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber not only promotes loss of liver fat, but also has these important other benefits. Binds with cholesterol and removes it from the blood. Lowers blood sugar because it slows down the digestion process. It firms up the stool and reduces diarrhea. Now, important food sources are oats, barley, some beans and peas, and certain fruits and vegetables. Now, that doesn't mean that insoluble fiber is not important. Insoluble fiber prevents constipation, infections of the gut, hemorrhoids, heart disease, and some types of cancer. And sources of this is fruit with the skin, uncooked vegetables, nuts, legumes, bran, brown rice, and whole grain flowers. Now, many foods have a lot of fiber, which is important, but not soluble fiber. Like take your nuts, for instance. One ounce of almonds have three grams of fiber, but only 0.43 grams of that is soluble fiber. Now, walnuts only have 1.8 grams of fiber, but 0.45 grams of soluble fiber. Peanuts have 2 grams of fiber, but 0.64 grams of soluble fiber. So choose your nuts wisely. Okay, now how about fruits that are high in soluble fiber? Prunes. Wouldn't you know it? 
that's certainly no one's favorite fruit, prunes with 11 grams of fiber and has 2.53 grams of soluble fiber. Now, dried dates have 6 grams of fiber with only 1.69 grams of soluble fiber. And both are loaded with sugar, which you are trying to avoid. Surprisingly, pears outfibers the apple. Pears have 3.9 grams of fiber, which 2.44 grams of soluble fiber. But I only see pears in the grocery store for a very short period of time. But apples are in the grocery store all year long. But apples have 3.7 grams of fiber with only 0.28 grams of soluble fiber. Oh, I absolutely love avocados. Now, they have 3.0 grams of fiber with 1.95 grams of soluble fiber. Now, you want to try and include beans or peas in every meal and about one cup. The beans and some peas with the most soluble fiber may surprise you, and they are definitely not on my favorite list. Split peas have 16 grams of fiber with 5.53 grams of soluble fiber. Lentils have 15.6 grams of fiber with 6.73 grams of soluble fiber. And chickpeas have 12.7 grams of fiber with 3.87 grams of soluble fiber. Now, I am from Texas. Pinto beans are the choice of beans in Texas. And even though pinto beans have 14 grams of fiber, it barely has a trace of soluble fiber. Black-eyed peas, another favorite of the South, has 11 grams of fiber and only 1.38 grams of soluble fiber. How about these vegetables? Collard greens, once more, not my favorite, have 4.8 grams of fiber with 2.39 grams of soluble fiber. Turnip greens have 5 grams of fiber, which 3.4 grams of soluble fiber. Now, you need to be cautious if you have kidney stones or other kidney conditions uh, consuming uh, collard greens or turnip greens. Now, I can definitely handle the carrots, but they are also high in sugar. Carrots have 4 grams of fiber and 1.13 grams of soluble fiber. String beans have 3.8 grams of fiber and 1.54 grams of soluble fiber. Cauliflower and broccoli are about the same with 2 grams of soluble fiber. Now, okra has become my new favorite. It's loaded with antioxidants, minerals, and even 2 grams of protein. Low in calories, prevents constipation, gas, and bloating, and helps remove cholesterol, metabolic toxins, and surplus bile. Try it grilled, sautéed, or roasted. But... Okra, double dip in cornmeal and flour, and deep fried really doesn't count. And I'm sorry to tell you that lettuce of any sort is not a good source of fiber. So make sure your salad has more vegetables than lettuce. Now include these monosaturated fats in your diet. Olive oil, avocados, nuts. Now, other foods you might consider are white protein. It has been shown to reduce liver fat and lower enzyme levels. And green tea has antioxidants that help decrease liver fat and inflammation. Now, I hope this has given you a plan to consider. Check out your favorite foods on the Internet. And remember, I'm not a doctor. This is not meant to be taken as medical advice. This is for informational purposes only. Always check with your doctor. Now, if you're interested in learning even more about the healing benefits of herbs and natural healing, check out the links to my herb school, Using and Making Herbal Remedies, or even the school on the flash drive in the description box, or you can email me for the flash drive at Carolyn Gibson 1951 at gmail.com. Thank you for joining me today. Now, if you wish to see more of these videos, like and subscribe to our channel. Leave me comments in, uh, in the comments section. Now, uh, for the last 30 years, all of our income has come off our organic farm here in East Texas. We're 100 miles from Dallas, and our little community of 400 still considers chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy a health food. 
and they just do not understand our lifestyle. They still laugh at what we are doing, especially since our main crop is wheatgrass, which you know, they really have no idea what that is. We need your support by subscribing and liking our channel, and be sure and visit me at FamilyGuideToHerbs.com, your guide to natural homemade remedies. Thank you so much.